So that's chapter 24. The covenant confirmed. Then the Lord said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. You are to worship at a distance, but Moses alone is to approach to the Lord. The others must not come near, and the people may not come up with him. When Moses went and told the people all the Lord's words, and laws, they responded with one voice. Everything the Lord has said, we will do. Moses then wrote down everything the Lord had said. He got up early the next morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and set up 12 stone pillars representing the 12 tribes of Israel. Then he sent young Israelite men and they offered burnt offerings and sacrificed young bulls as fellowship offerings to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in bowls, and the other half of the splashes against the altar. Then he took the Book of the Covenant and read it to the people. They responded, We will do everything the Lord has said. We will obey. Moses then took the blood, sprinkled it on the people, and said, this is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words. Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and the seventy elders of Israel went up and saw the God of Israel. Under his feet was something like a pavement made of lapis lazuli as bright blue as the sky. But God did not raise his hand against these leaders of the Israelites. They saw God, and they ate and drank. The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and stay here, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandments I have written for their instruction. The Mose, then Moses set out with Joshua, his aide, and Moses went up to the mountain of God. He said to the elders, Wait here for us until we come back to you. Aaron and Hur are with you, and anyone involved in a dispute can go to them. When Moses went up to the mountain, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai. For six days the cloud covered the mountain, and the uh, on the seventh day, the Lord called to Moses from within the cloud. To the Israelites, the glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. Then Moses entered the cloud as he went on up to the mountain. And he stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. <clears throat> Offerings for the tabernacle. Chapter 25 The Lord said, to Moses, tell the Israelites to bring me an offering. You are to receive the offering for me from everyone whose heart prompts them to give. These are the offerings you are to receive from them, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and fine linen, goat hair, ram skins, dyed red and another type of durable leather, acacia wood, olive oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense, and onyx stones and other gems to be mounted on the ephod and breastpiece. Then have them make a sanctuary for me, and I will dwell among them. Make this tabernacle and all its furnishings exactly like the pattern I will show you. The Ark Have them make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half wide, and a cubit and a half high. Overlay it with pure gold, both inside and out, and make a gold molding around it. Cast four gold rings for it and fasten them to its four feet 
with two rings on one side and two rings on the other. Then make poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. Insert the poles into the rings of the sides of the ark to carry it. <coughs> the poles are to remain in the rings of this ark. They are not to be removed. Then put it in, put in the ark the tablets of the covenant law, which I will give you. Make an atonement cover of pure gold, two and a half cubits long and a cubit and a half wide. And make two cherubim out of hammered gold at the end of the cover. Make one cherub on one end and the second cherub on the other. Make the cherubim if, uh, of one of piece with cover at the two ends. The cherubim are to have their wings spread apart, upward, overshadowing the cover with them. The cherubim are to face each other, looking toward the cover. Place the cover on top of the ark and put in the ark the tablets of the covenant law that I will give you. There, above the cover between the two cherubim that are over the Ark of the Covenant Law, I will meet with you and give you all my commands for the Israelites. The table. Make a table of acacia wood, two cubits long, a cubit wide, and a cubit and a half high. Overlay it with pure gold and make a gold molding around it. Also make around it a rim a hand breadth wide and put a gold molding on the rim. Make four gold rings for the table and fasten them to the four corners where the four legs are. The rings are to be close to the rim to hold the poles used in carrying the table. Make the poles of acacia wood, overlay them with gold and carry the table with them and make its plates and dishes of pure gold as well as its pitchers and bowls for the pouring out of offering. Put the bread of the presence on this table to be before me at all times. The lampstand. Make a lampstand of pure gold. Hammer out its base and shaft and make its flower-like cups buds and blossoms of one piece with them. Six branches are to extend from the side of the lamp stand, three on one side and three on the other. Three cups shaped like almond flowers with buds and blossoms are to be on one branch, three on the next branch and the same for all six branches extending from the lamp stand. And on the lampstand, there are to be four cups shaped like almond flowers with buds and blossoms. One bud shall be under the first pair of branches extending from the lampstand, a second bud under the second pair, and a third bar, bud under the third pair. Six branches in all. The buds and branches shall all be of one piece with the lampstand hammered out of the uh, out, out of pure gold then make its seven lamps and set them up on it so that they light the space in front of it its wick trimmers and trays are to be of pure gold our talent of pure gold is to be used for the lampstand and all these accessories. See that you make them according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. The Tabernacle, Chapter 26. Make the tabernacle with ten curtains of finely twisted linen and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, with cherubim woven into them by a skilled worker. All the curtains are to be the same size. 28 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. Join 5 of the cur cur curtains together and do the same with the other 5. Make loops of blue material along the edge of the end curtain in one set and do the same with the end curtain in the other set. Make 50 loops on one curtain and 50 loops on the end curtain of the other set with the loops of opposite each other. 
Then make 50 gold clasps and use them to fasten the curtains together so that the tabernacle is a unit. Make curtains of goat hair for the tent over the tabernacle, 11 together. All 11 curtains are to be the same size, 30 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. Join five of the curtains together into one set and the other six into another set. Fold the sixth curtain double at the front of the tent. Make 50 loops along the edge of the end curtain in one set and also along the edge of the end curtain in the other set. Then make 50 bronze cl clasps and put them in the loops to fasten the tent together as a unit. As for the additional length of the tent curtains, the half curtain that is left over is to hang down at the rear of the tabernacle. The tent curtain will be a cubit longer on both sides. What is left will hang over the sides of the tabernacle so as to cover it. Make for the tent a covering of ram skins dyed red and over that a covering of the other durable leather. Make upright frames of acacia wood for the tabernacle. Each frame is to be 10 cubits long and a cubit and a half wide, with two projections set a parallel to each other. Make all the frames of the tabernacle in this way. Make 20 frames for the south side of the tabernacle and make 40 silver bases to go under them. Two bases for each frame, one under each projection. For the other side, the north side of the tabernacle, make 20 frames and 40 silver bases, two under each frame. Make six frames for the far end, that is, the west end the tabernacle, of the tabernacle. And make two frames for the corner at the far end. At these two corners, they must be double from the bottom all the way to the top and fitted into a single ring. Both shall be like that. So there will be eight frames and 16 silver bases, two under each frame. Also make crossbars of acacia wood, five for the frames on one side of the tabernacle, five for those on the other side, and five for the frames on the west and at the far end of the tabernacle. The center of crossbar is to extend from end to end at the middle of the frames. Overlay the frames with gold and make gold rings to hold the crossbars. Also overlay the crossbars with gold. Set up the tabernacle according to the plan shown you on the mountain. Make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen with cherubim woven into it by a skilled worker. Hang it with gold hooks on four posts of cacacia wood overlaid with gold and standing on four silver bases. Hang the curtain from the clasps and place the Ark of the Covenant Law behind the curtain. The curtain will separate the holy place from the whole, most holy place. Put the atonement cover on the Ark of the Covenant Law in the most holy place. Place the table outside the curtain on the north side of the tabernacle and put the lampstand opposite it to it, opposite it on the south side. For the entrance uh, to the tent, make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen. The work of the um, embroiderer, make gold hooks for this curtain and five posts of acacia wood overlaid with gold and cast five bronze bases for them. The Altar of Burnt Offering, Chapter 27 Build an altar of acacia wood, three cubits high. It is to be square, five cubits long and five cubits wide. Make a horn at each of the four corners so that the horns and the altar are of one piece and overlay the altar with bronze. 
make all its utensils of bronze, its pot pots to remove the ashes, and <clears throat> its shovels, sprinkling bowels, meat forks, and fire pans. Make a grand uh, grating for it a bronze network and make a bronze ring at each of the four corners of the network. Put it under the ledge of the altar so that it is halfway up the altar. Make poles of acacia wood for the altar and overlay them with bronze. The poles are to be inserted into the rings of so they will be on two sides of the altar when it is carried. Make the altar hollow. Out of boards it is to be made just as you were shown to the mountain on the mountain. The courtyard. <clears throat> Make a courtyard for the tabernacle. The south side shall be a hundred cubit long, and it is to have curtains on finely twisted linen. With twenty posts and twenty bronze bases, and with silver hooks and bands on the posts. The north side shall also be a hundred cubit long, and is to have curtains. With twenty posts and twenty bronze bases, and with silver hooks and bands on the post. The west end of the courtyard shall be fifty cubits wide and have curtains with ten posts and ten bases. On the east end toward the sunrise, the courtyard shall also be fifty cubits wide. Curtains fifteen cubits long are to be on one side of the entrance with three posts and three bases, and certain curtains 15 cubits long are to be on the other side with three posts and three bases. For the entrance to the courtyard, provide a curtain 20 cubits long of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen, the work of an embroiderer with four posts and four bases. All the posts around the courtyard are to have silver bands and hooks and bronze bases. The courtyard shall be a hundred cubits long and fifty cubits wide, with curtains of fi finely twisted linen, five cubits high, and with bronze bases. All the other articles used in the service of the tabernacle, whatever their function, including all the tents, tent pegs for it and those for the courtyard, are to be of bronze. Oil for the lamp lampstand. Command the Israelites to bring you clear oil of pressed olives for the light so that the lamps may be kept burning. In the tent of meeting outside the curtain that shields the Ark of the Covenant Law, Aaron and his sons are to keep the lamps burning before the Lord from evening till morning. This is to be a lasting ordinance among the Israelites for the generations to come. Amen.